July 4th, 2010. It's 9 a.m. Beautiful day. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. It's finished. Finally finished. 11 years. And it's finished. In 1999, she warned me that my research may lead to a fracture in time. Covered my tracks in the machine, but it wasn't enough. The fracture is no longer just a possibility, it's imminent. This. This is the countermeasure. This is the assurance that the fracture will no longer run its course. The science is sound. Now it's just up to the execution. I haven't heard from Beth Wilder in months. I don't know. I don't know if something's happened to her. I just, um... I get the feeling I'm being watched. Watched. I can't tell the, the amount of things I've sacrificed in my life for this. I've isolated everyone I cared about. My relationship with my brother. Everything. This has to work. It can't be for nothing. July 4th, 2010. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. He told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it, and the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken, oh, shit. The safe, empty. I just need to know you have it, because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. Okay, the date is, uh, the date is, it's, it's February 28th, 1999, William Joyce. All right, after months of arduous work, my machine is finally ready for human testing. Ready is defined by me, since ready is obviously a relative term when you're dealing with the deformation of the chronon field and recreating of black hole's mass density by tangent. Okay, in short summary, I built a time machine, and it works. I'm gonna prove it, or die. Okay, just need to make some final preparations. When I enter the machine, I will travel clockwise around the corridor. Okay, core is active. Chronon levels are stable. I'll travel clockwise around the corridor, exiting back into the same location in the near future. Oh. This clock is set to my watch. Now, when I exit the machine, there should be a significant difference in time between my watch and the clock in this room. Corridor locked in place. Okay, setting the date to five minutes to the future for the first test. Now, admittedly, traveling to the past would be much more impressive, but I can travel backwards in time only as far as the first activation of the machine's core, which is, well, now. Okay, machine's ready. Monitor is stable. I'm about to do is gonna change the very fabric of the I don't remember.
It's April 2nd, 1999. It's been about a month since the incident. Since I was shot by the man from the future. Since Wilder. I've moved the machine. Hidden it. I wish I could destroy it, but, uh... I made it tell me as little as possible. But when we know about what'll happen, the worse it'll be. We're all puppets. I can take that for as long as I can't tell the difference. I think she understood. Doesn't matter anyway. She told me the fracture is gonna happen because of what I did. It's... fix it. I have to. I don't know how yet. I have to, I have to build a countermeasure of some kind. I know the theoretical mechanism of the field's collapse, but how to stop it, let alone reverse it. It'll take years of research. I have no idea how to do this, how to pay for it. I don't know. Wilder's from the future, and she came to me. I have to assume that I was successful, right? Why else would she come to me? 